Hello, this is uh, Silvia Pavoni reporting from the closing day of the Inter-American Development Bank meeting in Montevideo, Uruguay, and I'm talking to Mauricio Mesquita Moreira, who is uh, the IDB principal economist for the integration and trade sector. And um, I'm speaking to Mauricio just after uh, the announcement of a cooperation between the IDB and the Asian Development Bank. Uh, we had both, both presidents talking about the fostering the relationships. Um, and so Marita has been involved in uh, drafting, in preparing a report which is going to be published, publicly announced at the Asian Development Bank meeting in Manila this May. Um, and he's going to kindly take us through some of uh, the information that is going to be included in this report. All right. Well, thank you for having me. Well, the, the idea of the report is sort of thinking about the future of the relationship between the two regions. No? Uh, th this relationship has grown drastically in the last 10, 12, 12 years. You know, trade has grown by 20% in a year, uh, you know, to the point that these days Asia is the second trading partner of Latin America, something unprecedented you know, in the history of both, history, of both regions. So uh, we want to look at how, you know, what governments can do to make this relationship better. I mean, think in terms of 10, 20 years further down the road, what they, they can do about it. And what we think is that so far was mainly the market that promoted this relationship, this huge complementarity between the two economies. You know, Asia needs natural resources. Lack, Latin America is one of the few regions in the world that has these resources. So this led to this booming trade. And of course, with, with all uh, relationships that grow so fast, there are some growing pains in this process. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, we, we, we think that a, a relationship needs to, to have at least three pillars to make it sustainable. There's trade, investment, and cooperation. And so far, we had just mainly trade, and not much of investment, and not much of cooperation. And for that, we need governments to step in uh, to, to, to strengthen these two other pillars, pillars and also to uh, strengthen the trade pillar, which has grown very fast, but has its problems as well. It's too concentrated in a few countries uh, on both regions. It's co too concentrated in just a few products in Latin America. Latin America exports to, exports to Asia's four or five uh, commodities. Uh, and, and there's uh, a huge trade imbalance when it comes to Mexico and Central America. I mean, they did practically just import stuff from, from Asia. They don't export anything. So what governments can do about it? I mean. Uh, the most obvious things in this case is to look at trade costs. I mean, the traditional tariffs and non-tariff barriers, which are, despite all this growth, are you know still very high, uh, especially on those uh, areas where there are a lot, a lot of potential for trade diversification, which is the area of natural resources. No? I mean, uh, 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 when we think in terms of 10, 20 years uh, ahead, uh, uh, clearly, you know. Uh, this, this, inter, this interchange of, of natural resources for manufacturing is still going to be the main driver. But we, the, the region, especially Latin America, wants to add value to those natural resources that are being exported. But it's still the region faces you know, high tariffs in the range of 30 to 40 percent on agricultural goods. There are still a lot of quotas, uh, you know, uh, uh, non-tariff barriers in general, which are mostly, uh, 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 fall mostly on agricultural products. So, as, and on the, on the Asian side, uh, there's uh, issues on the manufacturing, uh, on, importing, on barriers on, on the imports of manufacturing uh, uh, products from Asia. So, uh, obviously, the governments have to, to look at those issues if they really wanted to diversify trade. And, and, and the other thing is the role of investment, which is, I mean, you can do everything with trade. I mean, when you look at Central America and Mexico, probably, you know, you can change things at the margin, but, you know, it, it's, it's going to be very hard for those regions to be a major exporter of manufacturing goods. They don't have natural resources to export to Asia. So the way of dealing with this thing is to have more Asian investment in Central America, in Mexico, to take advantage of the local market, the U.S. market, and vice versa. I mean, Mexico and Central American companies invest, investing in Asia. Also, they use the, the, low, the low cost, low labor cost that they have and, and, and try to you know, get a piece of the pie of the Asian markets as well. So they can, we can have a more balanced and more sustainable relationship. That's great. Well, the bank uh, will be attending the Asian Development Bank meeting, and so we look forward to finally reading the report. Thank you very much for your Thank comments. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.